Hi, I am Dr. Naveen. I am a gastroenterologist at Apollo Hospitals in Hyderabad. Um, so we celebrate November as a globally as a GERD or Reflux Disease Awareness Month. Um, so on this occasion, I would like to just share uh, some views about what reflux disease is, acid-related problems, and how to tackle it. So reflux um, is basically acid which is generated in the stomach which comes up into the foot pipe and can cause symptoms like heartburn, chest pain, uh, mainly in the center part of the chest. Some people can have water brash or the acid coming up into the mouth. Some people may even have cough because of this reflux and also some people can have infections into the lungs because of aspiration if it is severe enough. Now it is a quite debilitating disease because um, of these symptoms as I mentioned and often it can interrupt your sleep also and it is a very 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 common uh, symptom in fact about 30 to 40 percent of the people or patients who visit our clinic have reflux symptoms in fact it is estimated that um, two out of four patients almost 50 percent of them do have reflux symptoms at some point in their life now it's a disease of lifestyle and stress. So obviously the treatments would be to change the lifestyles and also de-stressing ourselves. Yes, there are some medicines which will help in controlling the acid, but it is predominantly our lifestyle which would help in controlling these symptoms. So when I say lifestyle, eating healthy diet and also eating small amounts more frequently will help you in avoiding the reflux. And also having a last meal at least three hours before the bedtime and having a lighter meal in the dinner time would also help you in counteracting these reflux symptoms and um, uh, yes there are medicines as I mentioned uh, which you can visit uh, the gastroenterologist the physicians who will be able to help you uh, with these medicines but you have to really look at the diet what uh, kind of diet which is causing the symptoms and you have to avoid them. Often people uh, notice that it's the, as, um, the, the uh, oily food and the spicy food, sometimes onions, garlics, uh, heavy amounts of these uh, uh, vegetables can also increase the reflux. So you just have to understand your diet and see what's in, what the diet is causing the symptoms and you have to avoid or keep it to the minimum levels. If you do have this reflux above 45 years and not controlling, or if you're having any difficulty in swallowing, or if you're having a blood vomit, or unexplained weight loss, you should not ignore these symptoms. These are called as a red flag or alarming symptoms. If you have any of these alarming symptoms, you should definitely go and see a gastroenterologist as soon as possible. Um, because sometimes sinister pathologies or sinister diseases can present in a similar way. Okay, so hope it was helpful for you to understand what reflux disease is, and how to manage it and uh, as I said predominant is the lifestyle and the dietary changes that we need to look into and if you have any of the alarming symptoms as I mentioned then uh, you have to see a gastroenterologist. Thank you very much for listening.